Hi again, Pete from Record Power. Um, on this video, I'm going to take you through a little bit of maintenance on our SC1 and SC2 chucks. Much the same as we've done in the past with the SC3 and SC4. Um, so, a bit of a clean down, strip down, clean down, and then reassemble, and some little tips how to um, put it back together again. The one I'm going to concentrate on is the SC1 to start with, uh, which is um, again, um, um, much like the SC4 in that uh, it comes with a in, you, you can use an insert to fit a wide range of uh, machines and it's the same insert that comes with the SC4. So first off we're going to take the insert out. Um, much the same on the, that on the SC4 it's got a, a grub screw in the side of the body and then you've got the toughenal pad underneath to protect the thread so as you don't lock the grub screw down onto the actual thread itself you've got the pad in there so oh that one's come off pretty easily um, if it's a little bit tight you can use the same key if you've got the SC4 to uh, take that out or what I've done in the past is just put the chuck in the, in the little voice I've oh, just got a little portable voice here and then just give it a tap to release it and that should uh, should get it out easy so anything like all pad or something like that use the holes that, on the side and just give it a tap round and it'll come off quite easily Now the hardest part about this is the actual circlip is down in the body. So it's one of those, again, it could come out first time or it, it could be a bit of a fiddle to get out. Um, so what I've already done is I've got the jaws pinched up. What I want to do now is just back them off a little bit. And if you back them off a little bit and get yourself a marker pen, the sleeve itself, if you've where the grub screw is that goes through, if you just mark the inner sleeve that's that's got the scroll on it with a felt pen, it'll just give you a guide when you put it back in back in again. And before you take it off. If you look at the logo on the front of the chuck, then each of your jaws is marked off. So, record power logo, and in this instance, it's, it's got the it's starting off with number one. So then it goes one, two, three, four. So that just gives you a reference point to put it back together again, um, with also your mark inside. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably a little bit difficult. Yeah, just about to see that mark in there where I've put marked with a felt pen. It's just a little bit of a guide to make it a little bit easier to uh, putting it back together again. So right, take it apart. Like I said, it's, a, it's one of those little fiddly jobs. You're going to need a good pair of circuit pliers, straight ones. And, pull it, oh. and throw it through the air with the greatest of ease. What we will note on your circlip plier and it's, is the circlip itself is the one face is a little bit rougher and just have that face down that goes into the actual groove and it's a little bit more rounded on the top face. So now we've got that out, if I back that off a little bit more just to free it up, what should happen is that sleeve starts to drop out yet and the jaws are dropping out. So what I'm going to do now, the base jaws are, of, as I can see, are all numbered, so take those out. And then it's just a matter of fiddling this out. And that's, that's your bottom and your plain face. And then you've got your teeth on there. So what I want to do now is just check that ring itself. 
and inside. Just have a feel inside. That's nice and smooth inside of there. And then the actual place where the runners go. I've just got a little very fine stone. All I'm going to do is just go across the just the faces of those. Put a bit of oil on your stone as well. And then, all, all I'm feeling for is it just it's nice and smooth as it's running through it. That's all. So what I'll do now is just give that a little bit of a spray with a WD-40 or similar. That's clean, so okay. It's way through for a second. So onto these, the base jaws. Again, I use my stone, just slightly on the slide faces, all four faces, and then on the other sides, flip it over, do the same. And this is not taking any material off, it's just like, just polishing it up really. If there is any slight burrs or anything like that, this is going to soon take it off. Because they're just going to be like, um, just hanging there like sort of thing. And if you, sometimes you can actually feel if you've got a little lump as you're passing this off. All I want to do is... Make sure it just feels all nice and smooth. So go through. And this also, if there's any debris on it, dust or resin or anything else like that, it's going to fetch that off as well. So just keep them all nice and clean and easy. It should all function better like that. Right, that's the four done. And all I'm going to do then is give them a blast. I'll take any muck away. So, onto the gear and the scroll itself. Just check around it if you feel any sharp edges. If you've got any sharp edges, you could do it with a stone, or if you've got a very fine uh, file, just go over the face. Now just clean it up a little bit. I'm not going to take any material off. I'm just taking any sharpness away. And then look at the start and the end of your scroll ring. Just see if that's nice and clean. And what you want to feel is it's all nice and smooth. Don't push on it too hard at first. Just get get used to what the thing actually feels like. You don't want to go and get any scratches or little cuts off it. Again, with a little bit of oil on there, I just do any inside of there. It's just a little bit wet and dry. Very fine, wet and dry. Check for anything in the teeth. If I give that a spray, some tough brush. The 
there's any wood dust or anything in there we've fetched that out Now onto the face of the ring itself. Again, feel for any sharp edges. And then with the say I've got a really fine stone I've used for planar blades and things like that, like honing. And there's quite some black just going over that. as much as going to reveal but it feels really nice kind of tactile what we can do now get a bit more tissue give that a spray out Itself, just give her a clean out. It's pretty good, it's not a lot of muck inside. Because you've got the open like um, key ports, you're always going to get a little transfer of dust and bits and pieces through there. So give it a bit of a, a, bit of a clean. And all I'm going to do now is just transfer the tissue through the two slots each side. That should clean everything out. So that's my body done. My jaws are done. the actual scroll ring and gear. What we'll do on that. Well the actual scroll ring goes itself. If you push a piece of tissue inside of that you can chase all the dust all the bits out of it if there's anything in there. It'll just be nice and clean. Just press on it and just wind it out. And it'll just clean the inside of it out. Right, so we're ready for the, basically, very quickly, we're ready for reassembly. I want a little bit of oil. Uh, not a lot and when I put my rings in uh, ring in the actual base jaws themselves just make sure they're nice and clean this has got a little bit of WD-40 on it if you spray these overnight what you'll find is a the WD-40 will evaporate off anyway. So this is something you could do. And then leave either for a lunch break or overnight, like I say, just to get rid of that last bit of um, WD-40 off it. Because that's just basically just a little cleaner. So I want a little bit of oil. Just, I've just got a little bit of 3-in-1 um, oil.
get all the bits of tissue out as well. Some knees that just want uh, just a smidgen really. Nothing really no real quantity. So it's starting off on number two. So I don't need a lot of oil on there by any means. So all I'll do is the dust will just adhere it so it's just a little tiny bit. So before I actually put the scroll ring back in, what I find a little bit helpful is to actually put, these are the standard jaws that come with it, so all I need is one screw in there just, just to help me centralise the jaws, put one in. And try and put them back in order, even though it's just a, like I say, it's a, just a quick centralising of the jaws just to make it easier for assembly. They've all been cut as a set. those down for the time being. Just gripping them in my hand just to centralise them and drop that in. Trying to line that black mark up again. And there you go. So what should happen now, bearing in mind I haven't got the circlip on now, is I should be able to open that up, so I'm just keeping a bit of pressure against the um, uh, the ring itself, because I haven't got the circlip in there. So that should wind out now, until they stop, and then wind back in again, until they kiss and lock. So that's the assembly back together again. So all I want to do now, and this is a nice little fiddly part, is put the circlip back in again. Again, that's one of those that'll either go in first time, or third or fourth. Again, if you can hold it on the, on the vice, it might be easier. You got one. I say it's got a slightly radius face on the top edge. Let me start with the bent ones first. quite engaged into the groove as this isn't at the moment you get yourself a little punch or something what you can do is take that down and it can pop out into the actual groove itself So 
So then, we should have a nice, clean, free-running tr chuck again. So everything's back in. And like I say, wind it out. And we believe that you should come to a stop. You shouldn't be able to wind the jaws out. Um, it's a good safety point about our jaws. So, your SC1, a little bit of maintenance on that to keep it clean. Hope that's of uh, use. And I'll catch you shortly when I follow on and I'll do the, uh, the number two as well. So, cheers for now. Catch you in a bit.